two things upset me more than seeing people that are weaker than the rest of us getting taken advantage of or living in fear because of a bully. Um, I just got a video this morning, or a, excuse me, an email this morning. Someone's given me advice. <clears throat> they want to remain uh, anonymous, so I've eliminated the URL up here so they can't be traced. But I wanted to quote you a little bit of what they said here. It says, uh, Jonathan's full of demons of rage because he believes is 100% correct 100% of the time. Then he hates you for not agreeing to whatever. He has a hold of him saying that uh, to him because he's 100% correct 100% of the time he believes. Show a video of why he should burn his stuff. Here's the key. Uh, pray and bind what's in him. Don't tell him I said this advice to you. One time he was able to tell me what I was thinking. I felt violated and freaked out. But I had a massive errors afterwards. I'm not sure what he, they had a massive errors afterwards mean, but uh, I guess it freaked him out pretty bad, or him out, her out, they out, them out. Uh, I'm afraid of him. Whatever has a hold of him, when he gets enraged over what he has a hold of him being correct, I ghosted him. Don't mention me in any of your videos. I put me on blast. R.I.P. could be me. In other words, rest in peace could be me. In other words, these people, they're actually fearing for their life. That's ridiculous. Uh, number one, we've been given power over serpents and scorpions. John claims to be a fallen angel. Therefore, serpent. Therefore, we've been given power over him them, all of them. Here's another uh, video that I got, or a message that I got this morning. It says, uh, business doing great here. Well done. Plenty of fat cats. I'm sure Jesus was joking when he quoted, it would be like a camel going through the eye of a needle for rich a wealthy person to get into heaven. Fools. Jonathan is the truth. In flesh, proven over and over and over. Delusional. If you cannot see the Vatican's a snake, like anyone, that this is the truth in flesh. I've said it before, I've said it many times. Um, a lot of people have addressed the Vatican as a snake thing. I almost did a video last week about it, but you know, I'm getting really tired of these videos. But I had the web page up, and this was years before Jonathan even came out of the picture or had his alleged conversion experience praying to Hail Mary. But, um, you know, I just get tired of it. I get tired of this because it's like, you know, if you guys ever watched the Ghostbusters, it's just when they killed the, you know, Pillsbury Doughboy or whatever, like Stay Puffed. Marshmallow Man, this big blob of crap came down and just landed on this poor character. And that's what it feels like when I have to address this stuff. It's just like a coating of just crap, you know, and I have to get dialed in and go, you know, take a shower and listen to scriptures and get my head back because he's so just out there. But uh, here's my reply to this Mike Peters guy that said that. This is, your biblical ignorance is astounding. First, the reference of Jesus in relation to the eye of the needle is a reference to the needle gate. It's a small doorway that improves security and slow down invaders as they would uh, have to enter one at a time, usually at night when the main gates were closed. Thus, if a camel tried to pass through said gate, all gear on the camel's back would have to be removed, uh, taking up valuable time. Uh, the, the camel would then have to literally crawl on its knees to make it through the gate. Hence, very difficult, but not impossible. 
Thus, the comparison between a loaded camel having great difficulty and a wealthy man with a lot of stuff. Thank you for proving to us all that Kleck isn't teaching you even the basics, much less the truth. That said, we don't need a professing fallen angel, though he more likely is an MK Ultra victim. Just look at Henry Kleck's background, his dad who, incidentally, was a military man and a psychologist to boot, or a psychiatrist to boot, one of the two, uh, to pump out endless satanic symbolism to prove that Satan and his minions, like you and Cleck, is are very active in world affairs. Exactly as Matthew 13, among other scriptures, clearly say you, he, would be, i.e., allowed to go together. Thus living among us. That said, that scripture alone proves cult leader Kleck is clueless, as there is us and them. And since there is us and them, then we all can't be serpent seed like Kleck claims. You are pathetic, satanic puppet. Repent or burn. Okay, then Kleck comes out this morning with a video talking about the same uh, scripture, as a matter of fact. And I'm going to show you real quickly. He's quoting Matthew 13. And uh, he's quoting, among the parts he's quoting, he says, But while man slept, the enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. And went away. Okay, guys, I need you to listen and pay attention. This proves fallen angels did not create man as Cleck teaches because the wheat was there before the enemy sowed the tares. Case closed. Get it? The wealthy landowner, who's God, sowed the wheat, who's the children of God. But the devil came later and sowed tares among the children of God. Therefore, Clegg is busted. Satan didn't create us all. That's what I've been saying all along. Oh, so with that, I'm going to pull the plug on this. I don't like making videos in the middle of the day. But uh, I just wanted to get this out because many, 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 many times the Lord's tapping on my shoulder. I want to do this and, then, and I resist and I resist and I resist. Because, I, you know, this is just such an... Uh, a nasty thing to me. I mean, I really, really hate doing this. But when I see people living in fear, I mean, this person actually, for their life, I have to step up. You know, blessed are the pe peacemakers, for they inherit the earth. You know, Cluck, Cluck talks about the, you know martial arts. Well, I, I, I said before I've taken three different kinds. The last fight I was in, five guys at a Dodger game defending a friend. That's my nature. So I'm not scared of these fallen angels. I'm not scared of these locusts. I'm not scared of these scorpions. You shouldn't be either. It's time to rise up, take your authority in Christ, step out and fight them. Okay? Because if you don't, the church can remain impotent. Okay? Stand up. God says, or Jesus said, you got to endure to the end. We're not going to get out of here anytime soon. This grand junk, dunk, uh, junction thing is just a big, vain show, which is what he's trying to say God did by creating man. Okay? But give us a gift. And man is one of God's highest, if not these highest, the highest of creation. Look how much he loves us. If we were Satan's children, he'd do exactly what he did in Genesis 6 and flush them. Yeah, they came down, they corrupted man, they didn't create him. Big difference. With that, I got a grinder going on over here. Sorry about that. We're try still trying to get this coffee shop open. Oh, and by the way, I just want to thank you. I got two no donations. We've got enough money to feed some mountain kids. <laughs> I'm excited, praise God. So, 
this month's uh, you know little hundred dollar quota we we uh, we're, we're not that you know we're not you know doing anything uh, you know like Cleck is doing jumping out of airplanes and putting on a vain show and building doing these big dramatic things but we're feeding kids we're doing what's really important okay so I want to thank you love every, each and every one of you and uh, God bless you God bless you may the Lord bless you seven times over what you've done okay and uh, if you guys want to kick down a few bucks to help us finish this coffee shop that would really be great because we're struggling but for now all the money is going to feed the kids you know, because that's the priority the wife has established. And, you know, i got to obey her, get along with her. You know, they say better to get along with a wife or you, you'll end up uh, on the edge of a roof or something, I think Solomon said. So anyway, with that, thank, love you. Appreciate it. Take care. God bless you. Bye now.